Reliability Centred Maintenance. What is it? And when should we use it? It's been around for a long time now, since the 60s and 70s, when studies were done in the aeronautical industry. But it can be used in other industries and all sorts of equipment these days. There's four main steps or guides to an effective plan. We want to preserve the system function. I spoke in an earlier video about the definition of maintenance and that was about making sure that equipment continues to function in a way we want it to. We want to preserve that. How can it fail? What are the potential failure modes? And that puts some kind of criticality or risk ranking against those failure modes and only focus on the big ones first and then manage the consequences. Reliability centre maintenance is all about potential failures and managing consequences. It's all about getting the most effective maintenance approach by picking the best technique or strategy. That could be reactive or run to failure. It could be planned. It could be predictive which includes condition based monitoring or maybe it's some more proactive approaches like root cause analysis. We base our decisions on cost and safety, health and environment or what effect it has on our production. The reliability centre maintenance process is based on a logic diagram or flow diagram and we ask ourselves seven questions for each piece of equipment. What is the equipment? What's the function? How could it fail to function in the way we need it to? What's the causes of the failure? And what's the effect of that failure? What's the consequence? In which way does it matter? How much does it matter? Then select the right strategy to help us to prevent that failure. If we can't prevent or manage the failure, we have to have a backup plan. And that may include redesign. If you want to learn more about any of the techniques we've talked about in this video, or maybe just some other engineering and technology related topics, make sure you follow us on YouTube. See you soon.